We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled. With Vesemir's medallion. My sole memento. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses of the Lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Hmm. You are, and you do. Let's stay a bit longer. Humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Pandil Lion! Ready some tankards! With guests! Geralt! Siri! When I learned Geralt had found you, Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you've been a busy morning then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Gerald. A little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anyone here besides us? Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full.
guard let even you into the city. Finally, someone took pity. Thank you, Witcher. Trouble? I serve the eternal fire, yeah, you Witcher. Let me live. <coughs> Greetings, I appear. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? Come closer. Don't be shy. You'll find out everything you could ever need. Uh. Drink. I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or Ciri's? Mine. Lying didn't always come so easily to you. If you intend to... I was about to say, it's nice that you protect her. And you did the right thing to go with her. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts. The prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. How'd it go at the lodge? Anyone agree to help? I'm afraid the situation's looking grim. Dangerous times. Especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out. But it's neither the time nor the place for this discussion. Triss will tell you more. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! <sighs> Best run and get him. I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story. Then be on your way. Uh, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. <laughs> Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll they'll lock you up like it's split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, oh, 
So they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprentice with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms, were that to be my fate. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? No, not officially, but you know how it is. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Open up. That one don't shirk from no month. Boy. Farewell. A mysterious charm and face. That her minge was a No point complaining. Presence is an affront to the eternal fire. I serve the eternal fire. Chimney calls. Gonna be sick. Oh. I've had enough of me. The eternal fire will light our way. Zoltan. Get out. 
They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakamet as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf lingering around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Siri had to do it. I couldn't let her go alone. You'd have done the same in my boots. Besides, I was there the whole time. Had the situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira? Margarita? Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philip had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here, under our noses, the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the Owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilege. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go.
We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Thuir, Robert Mekele, Alfelte. Graham et Thuir, Deagnis Kerle, Es Pirchena a Es Kleis. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Was that the past or the future? The recent past. We have to hurry. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe. But still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Crawl back under your rock. Guess they underestimated Philip. Huh? Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. She cast a spell on them. He's gonna die. Kill the Witcher. Listen. Kill the Witcher. Kill the She's hurt. Did you see that? I want to help her. Birdie, no. Past go, say. But no, let past go. <sighs> Ever had a stomach ache? Mm. Ache? Aye. But once old drowner eat. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no want. 
Drona make egg vapid. Let me pass. I can help her. But let past go. With your help. I want to help you. Help me die. Don't hold your breath. Stop squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt. But Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. Not gonna demonstrate a damn thing. I need her. And I don't give a flying fuck. I've awaited this moment forever, so very sorry but I care as much about your plans as I do about the snows of Mahakam. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. 
Opposition nibbling at his arse, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Emir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Ziggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me? Personally, with his bare hands. Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet. With our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Just this morning, my Greta came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go.
almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Lead the way. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. Oh, I look Nilfgaardian. The fashion has come from the south. Soon everything will look Nilfgaardian. Now Oh! What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Make a deal, maybe? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. That was... strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. Well, well. Who do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Do do? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard. The mama's play. Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's do do. God! You give me quite the scare. Not wise to play games with a witcher. Horson Jr. Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way, sharing it with a Doppler named Doodoo. -Doo. That was courageous, Doodoo. -Doo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way. You've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Chose an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. 
You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? Friends of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Helped me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Mm. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Fresh fish. Watch this. Fresh fish. You call this fresh. With his googly eyes and a nose killed. Stay out of my way. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad. But the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No. In another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm. A bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it, so I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalok was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Any leads, Master? Whosoever conceals a mage in their home shall burn alongside him <laughs> My, what a freak. Gave you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Yugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my! It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. Don't tell 
terrible. What I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus before us. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. I had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valder. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. This friend of yours? Mm. There! Baldo! Indeed, indeed. Fact. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, hey, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our knights for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Carol, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Go, go. You were faster once. Giving you a head start. You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. <laughs> Whoa there, Roach. Can still beat you. I let you win. <laughs> Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? 
What did you feel? <sighs> well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? What awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalark's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so... You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves? I'd rather know how you fared with the merchant. Managed to get some horses? <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Just buy the horses. Why can't you? With what coin? Siri gave you a full pouch. Enough for one at most, whereas at the least we need four. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! I must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Try to get inside. All right.
that good. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet. You'll wake them. Wait here. I'll go inside. Open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. <laughs> <laughs> 